3D scanning tools is, is one tool in our toolbox to um, investigate an object uh, in a more specific way. We don't really make copies of objects. We're essentially, uh, to put it dryly, uh, collecting lots and lots of measurements of an object. We take millions and millions of um, XYZ coordinates along the surface of an object, and then from there we can make an extremely accurate likeness. I started off working at the Smithsonian, working as a sculptor in the model shop, so I was using very traditional methods and often be making replicas of objects. And the problem is that that involves pouring plaster or rubber on a Smithsonian artifact, it exposes risk to the object. And anytime you do that, the, you know, the conservators you know, rule that out completely. About six years ago, we wrote a grant for a laser scanner and a 3D printer thinking this could be a better process. So we could scan these objects um, using the laser scanner and that would be a non-contact uh, method so minimal risk to the object. And then once we have that data, we could bring it back into the real world through 3D printing. We still do a lot of scanning for exhibits production, but then we can also deliver that object um, uh, very easily digitally across the world and disseminate it for research. There are a lot of exciting implications of giving access to those 3D surrogates of objects to the world for education or just people who are enthusiastic about the collections at the Smithsonian. Uh, just give them a chance to investigate um, our world um, in depth in a way that was never before possible.